is I start to wonder, does more really mean better? Does more equal a happier, more fulfilled life? There's probably like fish in here. It's everywhere. There's probably E. coli in here too. Yeah. This kid got some... Ooh. Anong nahuli mo? Oh, what the... Oh. <laughs> frogs! Look, they're frogs! Naku, nahuli mo to lahat? Uh. Ikaw lang? You want to do an obstacle course? Okay, let me just clean up here. So we're just gonna go for a quick walk. Oh, there's a chicken on the road! Chicken crossing the street! So this morning, me and Sky went down for breakfast and instinctively, I grabbed my phone, I brought it with me downstairs. Oh, there's chili here. I'm getting distracted with all the little things that are here. Chili. What the chili? It's our neighbor's chili. Back to the story. So Sky and I went down for breakfast and Emma was still sleeping at a time we take turns. Um, you know, getting her ready, getting her breakfast ready. But yeah, instinctively, I grabbed my phone and I wanted to, you know, check my email, YouTube comments and stuff while I was feeding her. But then I consciously made an effort to not pick up my phone. So I was surprised. I had a more enriching experience, even though it's just breakfast and we do this every day. It just felt like I got more out of that breakfast time. This kid got some... Ooh. Wow. wow, what the... Oh, frogs! Look, they're frogs! Naku, nahuli mo to lahat? Ikaw lang? Wow! Galing mo naman! Kaya yung nakapanan doon? Okay. Anong oras yung nagsisimula dyan? Mga alas 7. Alas 7. Bili na namin to? Sige, biliin ko. Lagi mong ginagawa to? Pupunta ka di para mag ano? Jeez. Oh, a goat! Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're just part of... Oh my gosh, I thought it was just... a dog. Ah! It's licking me. Sundan mo kami dito. Diyan lang yung bahay namin. <laughs> he's licking me. He's, <laughs> he's licking your leg hair. He's, he's licking me. <laughs> John Michael? Oh, it's a good name. Wow. So, this guy, John Michael, has a twin. I'm a good name, Carlo. Carlo, what's your name? Yes. You know, you're just like this. You're just like this. Oh, this is what it is. What's that? What's that? Oh, to tom bulate. So this is the bulate. This is the bait That's for the, the frog. Good thing. Wow. Sino kasama mo naga papalaka? Magisa lang ako ate. Ha? Magisa. Ano talaga na? Karating mo siya. Take a look okay? at the frogs. Look at that. So one is like all the way up there. You can go closer, but you don't have to touch it. Paano mo natutunong magpuli ng palaka? Ah. They're shy because they're stuck in there. This is our neighborhood. So these are our neighbors right here. Um, we're just behind our house. We're gonna walk to the beach. More fast. Sorry. Don't walk there. Walk here. Where? This is safe, right? There's probably like fish in here. More goats. Goats are everywhere. There's probably E. coli in here too. Yeah. Walking in the safe patch. No po. Hi. Oh, there's poo poo. Eh, E, avoid it. Just want to say hi to everybody that we see. Talk to everyone. What's that kid's name? 
John Michael. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we, we just met John Michael, who's a nice kid. He's, uh, he was 13 years oh. old. He caught a bunch. We just wanted to help him out. We asked John Michael where he got it from. Seeing John Michael, uh, kind of a little bit broke my heart to realize how hard life is here. Like uh, he's fishing for frogs at, like early in the morning, trying to feed his family. And he's told us there's five of them, five siblings. Um, yeah, it's, it's, that's tough. So we just wanted to give him a little bit of money. And disclaimer, we released those frogs, okay? Sky doesn't eat meat at all, so she'll never eat those. Um, Lanny does not eat uh, the frogs, but seeing him, that kid, he's so happy, eh? Like uh, that someone bought his frogs. So that kid was super happy. Here we are just waiting for a car um, because we got it service. Um, we are here at the coffee shop and uh, we're just talking and reflecting. <laughs> reflecting, that's what we do nowadays, we reflect. Okay, so we got Dunkin' Donuts. And this is the first time I've had this in a long time, so both of us are gonna try it. This is the first time I've had it since I was eight years old. So let's do it. Here, what was your strawberry? It is strawberry, strawberry filling inside okay. it. Cheers. I don't know if you want to cheers or donuts. <laughs> mm. I'm present. I'm present. Mindful eating. Mm. Ow! I bit my, I bit the inside of my cheek. <laughs> Too mindful. <laughs> mm, actually, it brings back a lot of memories. Look at that. Earlier today, Em and I were talking about, you know, our simple life and what we really mean by it. Because some people might think that the idea of simple life in the province is like living in a hut. That's not really our idea. Um, we say simple because compared to our life back in Canada, this is simpler, I guess. And in a way, it's simple because, you know, we don't have the traditional job that everyone has. You know, we don't have jobs, we don't have that schedule, have that responsibility. And we're just living day to day based on what we feel like doing. And of course, we do have plans down the road and, you know, we have things to do, but we don't feel pressured to do something that we don't want to do. So anything that we do now is to working towards our goals um, in the future. So living our simple life now is living on our own terms. You know, we don't have that much, but, but we realize that um, what really matters most in life is the experiences that we gain each and every day. Um, life itself is full of lessons and the teacher comes when the student is ready. If you're ready to embrace what this world has to teach you, then you'll see all the lessons left, right, and center. And that's, I think that's what we've been doing. You know, every single day we, we say, oh, aha, like I realized this today. And so this morning I was, I was thinking about, about this while we were walking to the beach. It's, I start to wonder, does more really mean better? Does more equal a happier, more fulfilled life? Especially back in Canada, there's just more products than we can ever, you know, dream of. And they're very accessible to us. So it's easy to fall into this trap of just accumulating things. Sometimes things that we don't even need. So for example, um, in Canada, we have Amazon. And then I remember going on my app and just buying things that I don't even need sometimes. And I say, okay, one day I'll need this or this can be useful for me, but really, I don't need them. Here, we are more intentional about our spending habits. If an item doesn't serve a purpose um, or add meaning to our life or make us feel comfortable, then we don't buy it. When we came here originally in May, we were pretty much spending less than a thousand dollars. But when we went back home to Canada, we went back and fell into our old habits and we started spending 3000 4000 Old habits die hard. Even though we had all these realizations, you can't easily just do like a 360 and be like, okay, I'm going to not buy anything. I'm going to be more intentional. You know, it, it, it's hard. So it is a work in progress. We are a work in progress. And here is the beauty of simple living. Here in the province, you strip away all the unnecessary, all the distractions because they're simply not available um, here or not a lot of them are available here. Um, so 
for us, we don't need a big house or a fancy car, which is what we were thinking of before. The, the, this idea, this picture of a fulfilled life would require, you know, a massive house, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a um, nice career. We thought that was the fulfilling life. Like that was the Western Canadian dream. We lived that life, but that wasn't our dream. Right, so we got caught up in this lifestyle. That was a dream that a lot of people have made us believe. And it's not necessarily people, but it's like a whole culture. And it's completely okay if you have that dream. That's fine. We're just saying that for us, mm -hmm. that wasn't ours. We knew that we didn't want to be stuck in this rat race for a long time and potentially miss out on a lot of experiences, especially with our daughter. So going back to you know the beauty of Simple Life, um, we look at the world now, we go outside and we look at the world with such amazement and we see things and we're like, wow, I didn't know this existed um, in this part of the world because we were just stuck in our own bubble. Like for example, the kid who was catching frogs in the early in the morning, um, the cows, just the sight of the cows eating grass for some reason is so relaxing. Look at the world now and we just realize how beautiful this world is, including the people who are living in it. That ties into what I was thinking about the other day about, you know, we should never lose our sense of wonder. As a child, we always had this sense that everything is so much more beautiful, right? Every little thing you do, you're just playing with sand or any experiences. Uh, as a child, you see it as like, wow, this is amazing. But we lose that along the way. We lose our sense of wonder while, when we're stuck in survival mode. We have all these responsibilities. You're working 9 to 5. You're providing for your family. But yeah, you lose that lens of how you see, how you see things when you were a kid. But to us, it's coming back, which is pretty amazing. I love it so much. Like how little things make us so happy. Like. This morning, that goat was licking my leg. Like, His leg hair is like grass. The goat probably confused it for grass. <laughs> what we're trying to say in this in this video is that, you know, we, we do find the beauty in simple living. And it's like those little moments of joy, of bliss, that you tend to miss out on because you are preoccupied doing other things. We tend to lose uh, ourselves in the present moment, right? Because honestly, your blissful happiness only can only happen in the present moment, right? But it cannot happen when you're thinking about the past or the future or any worries that you might have. It has to be right now. This is what's giving a lot of meaning to us right now is because we are able to live in the very present moment. Yeah, I feel like I'm just all over the place, but uh, hopefully you got what I was trying to say. So if you guys want to follow more of our journey and uh, you haven't subscribed already, you might want to consider subscribing because we will be posting a new video every two or three days. Um, so keep an eye out for those and we'll see you guys in the next one. Simple Life, we out. Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.